Hey everybody, got a bit of Star Wars history for you today. This is the Adventures of R2-D2 game. This was one of the very, very first games ever released for Star Wars. Made by Parker, who were um, partnered with Kenner back in the day. They were known as Kenner Parker. And you can see on the front there, we've got Follow R2-D2's Adventures along a brightly coloured path. Reading and counting not required for play. Uh, for children ages 4 through 8, 2 to 4 players, and then it's all repeated in French. And you can see sort of this is the style of the board where you've got these little circles with little scenes from the film drawn on. So on the back of the box we've got this black and white picture of the board and some of the pieces. And it says, object be the first player to get R2-D2 to the rebel base. New for little people, no reading, no counting, kids will love to move R2 down the brightly coloured path full of Star Wars adventures. Spin a colour indicates where to move R2-D2. Follow along as R2-D2 escapes the Stormtroopers, gets captured by Jawas, destroys the Death Star and more. First one to reach Rebel Base wins. Game includes a beautifully illustrated game board, four R2-D2s and bases. Spin a card and instructions. Two to four players, ages four through eight. Inside the box we've got this rather pristine looking instruction sheet for the uh, Adventures of R2-D2. Tells you how to play the game, it's on an A4 sheet. And on the back we've got the same thing in French. Now English and French, that should be a big giveaway. This is a Canadian release. On the inside of the box we can see this yellow tray and we've got the little spinner there. Adventures of R2-D2 and you've got this little bit that spins around to tell you what colour circle to move to. And on the back it's just plain but uh, in very nice condition considering this is what, 34? And here we have the R2-D2 markers and these are unpunched, never been played this game. And again in absolutely pristine condition. And finally we get four of these little clips and these are to sit the little R2-D2 cardboard bits in. No discoloration on these whatsoever. Absolutely immaculate looking. And this is the game board. As you can see it's got the nice sort of leather effect on there. No cracking on this whatsoever. This is absolutely brand new. And that just unfolds. And we can see the board. So to play the game you would put your little R2-D2 counters on there with uh, Princess Leia programmed R2-D2 and then you would spin the little spinner and whatever colour it goes to you'd move to the appropriate little circle and you would work your way down to this bit which is R2 and C-3PO escape and you've got the little shuttle pod there and there's a little jump to that white section if you get a white on the spinner otherwise you go all the way around and then we can see there we land on Tatooine and you can see R2, that's the front of the box, that little picture 3 PO in the background and then we move on to Jawa's kidnap R2-D2 and then Luke buys R2 and you can see the little sand crawler there and then we move on past the sand people and the bantha and the force defies the stormtroopers and we move around to escape in the Millennium Falcon. You can see Darth Vader there. And then we move on to the Death Star on that section. And then we can either skip that way or move around and prepare for battle. And then we go all the way along over this side to R2-D2 is hit in the back of the X-Wing. And then moving up, we go past Darth Vader's TIE Fighter to destroy the Death Star. And moving around there, we've got Ben Kenobi. And we move all the way to the end, to the finish, where we've got Hero. And we've got this little picture of the, um, the ceremony on Yavin. So there you go, this is the Adventures of R2-D2 in absolutely beautiful condition. The box is a little tatty, but the inserts are absolutely pristine. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this one, it's a little bit different to the usual Star Wars figures but made by Kenner Parker it fits in brilliantly with the, uh, the vintage line. So this has been Luke, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.